and welcome back to this channel. I don't know, I'm so excited today and I don't know, I've been wanting to film this video for a while but I've been tired maybe because I'm asleep by like 3 o'clock every day and I do not know why. But anyways, today today's video is actually going to be a baking plus Q and A video. My brother is actually going to be asking me questions that you guys ask me on Instagram. So you know this video will be interesting. But they say hi. Uh, yeah, he says hi. So um, I'm going to be making brownies. Um, I'm going to attempt to make a two-layer cake, chocolate and vanilla, and then. I'm going to be making cupcakes. So this is actually going to be a very long as video. So let's start. It's already chaotic and I've never been good. So like the first question is what should I start making? The brownies or the cupcake or the cake? Or should you know what? Let me just start making the cake because that's going to take time. Now I know how to make a cake from scratch, but am I going to do that soon? That's exactly why I bought this and I'm just going to read the instructions off of it and cut the fucking day. So um yeah. I was actually like going to make this a like um mute, deaf and blind video but my family members are too busy for me. Maybe when I have friends I'll do that. So obviously the first thing I'm going to do is pour this shit inside a bowl. Okay. How would you compare your life in Canada to your life in Nigeria? Hmm. I'm not even see. I feel like going abroad is just the best for anyone at this point because my life in Nigeria was was okay. It was you know nice. I had friends. I had everything I ever wanted. But like over here, I'm like open to more opportunities. I like I don't know if I would say like my parents are more lenient. Like. Over in Nigeria, I used to buy clothes like that. I didn't have that much clothes. But like here, I'm getting clothes on a steady, and I'm like, okay. I don't know if it's if it's cheap here or I don't know, but like things are just good. And like everyone over here is nice. I can't like everyone is nice. Like if you have the opportunity to go abroad, just do it. Don't even think twice. Because I know like last five five years ago, actually, my parents wanted us to come to um to Canada but I was like no I'm going to miss my friends and everything but thank god thank god we're able to come here as permanent residents also it's very fucking crazy um, like joke like joke the other day police stopped me and Loki interrogated me interrogated me eh wait why like what Oh my god, oh my god, yes. Also, like in, in this place in Canada, right? My mom and I like were checking to I think we went to go to the bank, right? And we, we checked. And do you guys know that the police stopped my mom to and asked why she like because she like over here there's this like um police hand side like sorry, I think it's not um sign. You press the um side of the traffic light like, thingy and then if the hand is like this, you go but if if the hand is not white, shy, you shall have don't go. And my own mom, like, she now went where the hand was not white, and then the police now stopped her. And he was like, Oh, why are you on? Um, you've um, you've made two traffic offense, um, offenses already. Why did you go um, when it was not time to go? And my mom was like, Oh, sir, in my country, I know it's a cross road, though. That's, I'm very sorry. And then he was like, Ah, what country do you not come from? And she was like, Oh, Nigeria. And then he was like, Okay. That this is what you should do next time. Like she just told her that she should not, uh, she should not cross the road when it's not time to cross. I'm almost like, ah, okay, so I will never do that again. Okay, so one cup of water or milk. So is it water or milk? I'm going to put milk. I, I don't know. I don't trust water. Next question. 
how are you finding the accent in Canada and how are you talking with it? So, okay, so I don't know. Feel me. Mm. Okay, so for the accent, I don't know, I feel like I have pretty good hearing. Yeah, so so I don't know, everything is like I, I don't know, it's just normal. I feel like it's just like it's just normal. And plus I'm not IELTS, right? And I got a pretty decent score. So I, I just want champions, I guess. The accent isn't really it's not new to me because this is not really my first time traveling to the West Coast Lab. So I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry if I'm going out of frame. I have to like get some stuff that I didn't know that. So yeah, as for the accent, it's not it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Okay, so I don't have a an, an electronic um mixing thingy, so I'm going to be using my hand to do this. Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? <laughs> I don't know that question is <laughs> Okay, um, yes, I have been in a very toxic relationship, right? And I mean, I don't know if I don't know, there was probably something wrong with me at that time because I don't know why I didn't just you know run away from the witches and witches that were holding me. Like, to date, I feel like the person called my name in there and he even called me and you know said, oh, I said that ah, you are not leaving me, it's me and you forever, but you know, it wasn't a bad. I mean, a lot of tears were shed. A whole lot of tears were shed. But you learn from your mistakes, right? But you know, you should learn from your mistakes. Like, see, advice to everyone: eh? if you, if you're in, if you're currently in a um, toxic relationship, and you think, oh, he's going to, you know. He's going to change, or he's going to treat you better. He's going to do this, or you know, you keep on telling yourself lies. Run away, just run. He might be good at at first, too, you know, but I don't know. I don't know. And plus, I was really, I was young. I was. <laughs> I'm saying that's that was like one ago, but like you know, I was young and I didn't know my left from my right and my right from my left and my up from my down. So I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I was, you know, born and everything, but I I still did not listen. But you know, it, the world is enough for the world. A word is enough for the world. Yeah. This is why I love, I love this cake mix. It's just very sharp. I don't have to do too much. When did you start dating? Um I think see, I would say I started dating when I was like um 12 13 no not 12 not 12 most definitely not 12 probably 13 14 around there and now i'm not saying you should start dating at 12 um, 12 13 or 14 no 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 don't do that don't do that you should wait for the right person like you know don't rush into shit like it's not worth it trust me i i've, I've been regretting my life like my high school life like as of recently i was like girl you could have you know waited for someone that will buy you a bouquet of flowers someone that will take you out for dinner feed you pasta and lobster like you feel me but you know it is what it is and plus it's all in the past so yeah no hate to any of the people i have been with in this life but i just wish i would have waited yeah so i'm telling you to wait wait for the right man because my friends are out here telling me that um, their friend, their, their babe, bought them this, their babe bought them that, king, king, king. and I'm like, ah, favorite so, where, where is your own babe that is buying you this and that? Hello, don't set it for less, because you are hot. And also for the guys too, don't set it for less, because you are also hot. You feel me? And yeah, it's, also, it's always good to protect your mental health. Like, if you're crying, if someone is making you cry and you know, like they are not even giving you anything, you are not getting anything out of that relationship. My sister, my brother, run. It's not by force, they do not tie your hand. Run. It's, it's really not by force. Like, I'm telling you the truth, it's not by force. But because we are still relationship with by force, so it's not by force, so you will not die. I, I promise you, 
you will not die. Like you were better. You were living, you were breathing before you started talking to this person. So why exactly are you crying now that she's not talking to you or now that she's not talking to you? Like get over it and move. Um, move on. If I remember in secondary school, when I used to have FNN classes, we would bake, cook and everything. Like the bowl, it would be like looking like this and then we all just get our spoons and fat licking because the mixture was always so good. Now I'm thinking, I feel like I want to make like chocolate cupcakes. Okay, what do you think? Chocolate cupcake, right? No. No, okay. okay. I sat on a cup on a cup cover and it damaged my tailbone for a long time I tell you. You sat on Wait! You sat on it what? That's that's insane. That's insane. I hope you are better than her island. I hope you went to the hospital. You'll be fine. Basically, there is this 20-year-old guy who keeps who keeps shitting on me. Wait, 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 stop the game, stop the game. So basically, there's this 20 year old guy who keeps. keeps on cheating on me? Yeah. Yeah, in my school. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I'm 16. I've done everything I can, but Oga will not let leave me alone. Is that all? Help. Help. Wow, Jesus. Wait, so your boyfriend, I, I assume, is. 20 20 and you are 16 17 18 19 20 4 years see four <laughs> and he keeps on cheating on you and doesn't want to let you go ah. this matter passed me ah block him block him um change your number change your snap and do change your idea and do do everything in your power to change everything <laughs> all of your social media handles because that's that's insane like what and how did you even start dating a 20 year old man a man that's pedophilia i don't know i hope i, I hope it's not one of my friends are sending this you know i don't mean it i know i know maybe it was actually true love i, I feel like it was one of my friends are sending this i love you if it's my friend i said this Makeup tips for beginners because my makeup skills are quite terrible. Okay, makeup tips for beginners. Okay, first of all, I'm going to say if you are a beginner, the first, the last thing you actually want to do is beat your face with foundation. When I say beat your face, I mean like you just pat foundation on your face and you'll be looking like only God knows what. If you beat your face with um foundation, you look weird and you know. You be yourself, your face with um, what do you call that thing? Concealer. Your face, your makeup will now become cakey. I just feel like you should get yourself. It doesn't even have to be expensive makeup. Go get yourself like good makeup, and then you could just let's say your your normal basic makeup routine could be um a little bit of foundation on like the side of your cheeks, forehead. Here, blend it very well all together. Then a little bit of concealer in the middle of your that's in the middle. Here, 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 forehead, here, and like just make a line with concealer on your nose. Then get lip liner, lip gloss, and you know that would be such a good um makeup routine. And then also do skincare. You don't have to buy anything too expensive. Skincare, skincare. And yeah, I promise you, your skin will look beautiful. Your size matter. Your size. Size does not matter. Be you a boy or a girl. Size does not. Okay, okay does size matter? Yeah. Exactly. Doesn't as personally. If you're skinny, if you're fat, if you're mid size, if you're, you know, anything. You're beautiful just the way you are. Don't allow one. Human being like that tell you different. Do you feel me? You are beautiful just where you are. Like I don't know. I feel like people that you know body shame and you know do all that type of all those other like stuff. They are probably they're probably insecure about themselves. So don't allow one insecure person to come and tell you that oh 
your part. I can't. I don't like it because your part. Or you're skinny. I don't like it because the wind can blow you away. Girl, no, stop it. The wind cannot blow you away. Introvert or extrovert? Introvert or extrovert? Yes. I think I'm in between. Unless it's vegan. I, I think there's this, there's a word for it. I'll put on the screen, but I'm in between because it really depends on who I'm talking to, right? Like now, my friends, I'm held. Like I'm very, very extroverted around my friends, but like when I'm meeting new people, I'm, I'm all like, mm, "Hi, what's your name? How are you?" Like I go very silent. Least hottest sports. Hmm? Least hottest sports. Mm. What do you think? This hottest sport. I don't know. Maybe like. I'm trying to think of like a sport as well. I feel like all sports are hot in their own way. You know. I feel like I don't really I don't really know. You guys can answer the question. Least hottest sport. Like that's the question of the day. Who's your best friend? Oh my best friend is Mr. Ma. You guys have seen her on this um what's it called? On YouTube. And we did um um things boys is that girls hate. That's my best thing. And you guys love her. Okay, so I'm going to check if the vanilla cake is ready. How are you so confident when it comes to posting content? content? I'll say I'm not I won't say I'm confident, right? I just do what I like doing, I guess. I just I do this shit for fun, I'm not even going to lie. And wherever it takes me, I'm happy. I'm going to be very happy with whatever I get out of creating content. Um, the confidence, I don't know where the confidence comes from. Because for people to pick a camera alone and say, oh, I want to make a TikTok or I want to become a YouTuber or I want to become an Instagram influencer, it takes it takes God. Because I know people that will judge the life out of themselves before they post anything. Right, and it's not like I don't judge myself. But oh my god, I have a lot of drafts and everything that I that I have in my TikTok, right? And I'm like, ah, maybe people like it, maybe people like it, maybe it will blow me from you. Like, yeah, I have to stop thinking of what if it blows or what if it does not blow. It doesn't matter as long as you, you know, you've shared across a message to people on the internet that okay, this is me. This is what I like to post to. You can follow me if you like. That type of shit. As long as your content will be your own content. I don't think you should give a shit about what people think. I'm going to have to arrange the oven. Okay, so that's basically it. The um cake and everything is going to take a while. So I'm going to see you guys when I'm done um cooking the cupcakes and everything. Okay, so you guys I'm done making the brown, the two chocolate, the two chocolate cakes, and the cupcakes. I don't know what happened to the brownie. Uh, sorry, the chocolate cake. I don't know what went wrong. So I'm going to decorate the ugly one in this video. Sorry, and then I'm going to decorate my mom's birthday cake on probably her birthday or something. Then I also decorate the brownie in this video, and the cupcakes are decorated on my mom's birthday. So I'm going to. Time lapse